This is the Yerkes Regional Primate Research Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Here the study of ape language skills has entered a new dimension. The researcher is Dr. Timothy Gill. His subject, a seven-year-old chimp named Lana. The medium of communication between them, an electronic keyboard tied into a master computer. Each symbol on the console is equivalent to a word, color-coded to fit a particular class of objects or actions. To minimize errors of interpretation, the computer continuously monitors everything Lana says, providing a permanent printed record for later, more detailed analysis. Even at night, when the staff is off duty, Lana may continue to converse with the computer, requesting such things as drinks or snacks, all delivered to her by the machine. Or perhaps, to fill an evening alone, she'll select a movie or a favorite piece of music. But Lana's life is far from lonely, as Dr. Dwayne Rumbaugh explains. We observed very early in the project that Lana learned best if a close social interaction was permitted between her and Tim and the other technicians. During these informal training sessions, Lana came to enjoy the task on which she worked, and she came proficient in that which she was being taught. On one memorable occasion, Tim tried to trick Lana by putting cabbage in the food dispenser in place of the monkey chow she preferred. It was on June 11, 1975, that the historic incident occurred. After I placed the cabbage in the machine, Lana questioned me in the following manner. Question, you put chow in machine? To which I responded, chow in machine. This exchange took place four additional times, after which Lana came back with, question, chow in machine? To which I responded, yes. Lana was not about to buy this, however, for she came back with, no chow in machine, which was indeed true. I asked, question, what? in machine. She did not respond, so I repeated it again. Question, what in machine? To which Lana responded, cabbage in machine. I responded, yes, cabbage in machine. Lana then came back with, question, you move cabbage out of machine? To which I responded, yes, and proceeded to remove the cabbage. Despite the occasional good-natured deception, Tim and Anna share a deep bond of affection, and one of her favorite requests is, please, Tim, tickle Lana. <laughs> Recently, Lana's accomplishments attracted the attention of Dr. Dorothy Parkell of the Georgia Retardation Center. We were really intrigued with what had been done with Lana and interested in seeing what would happen if we tried to apply this technology with human subjects. Dr. Parkell has found that the same keyboard system that serves Lana as a medium of communication can help to unlock the potential of the retarded child to express her wishes and feelings.
In this way, the work with Lana has already begun to rebound to the betterment of humankind, helping to bridge the gap that has too long existed between man and chimpanzee.